Hi, Bethany Church family. It is Tuesday, August the 11th, 2020, and I want to take a few minutes and share with you some of the updates on our return to in-person sanctuary worship, which will be Sunday, August the 23rd. We'll have one service at 10 a.m. Last night, I had a call-in session with trustees and administrative council members um, to ask questions and to have conversation about our plan going forward. Tonight, I'll have the same call-in opportunity at 7 o'clock. Uh, Martin Breen, our council chairperson, has sent the information out. If for some reason people don't get that, I'm going to make myself available through Wednesday night to answer any questions and to listen to ideas. And then starting on Thursday, we're going to make copies of this document um, uh, upon approval of the DS if there are additional things to do. And we'll be getting these out to those who do not have email and internet. And it'll also be made available on our church website as well. We'll also make some color copies available up at the church for somebody who might want to come by and pick them up. I want to share with you just some of the questions that have come up, and maybe there are questions that you have as well. One question has been, are there going to be any alternatives to in-person worship? And the answer is yes. We're going to continue to record our services. We're going to be doing recording the Sunday morning service starting August the 23rd, and then that service will be posted on Monday. So you'll have that, an opportunity to view it at that time. Uh, another question that has come up is, is there anywhere to sit people besides the sanctuary? We've already sent out that our capacity in the sanctuary and the chancel area and the narthex is 65. We are able to sit people in the nursery, but nursery has audio only. They won't have any visuals. No other rooms in the, in the church right now. Uh, it's really not feasible for us to, to hook up audio and video at this time. It is, however, something that we're going to be considering um, in the near future. One other question is, um, has the district superintendent said anything more about resuming congregational singing or choir singing for services? And so far, our superintendent has not given us any new information on that, and our bishop who makes the, those decisions um, in communication with those at the state level. Um, there's been no additional change on that. So when we return for worship on the 23rd, we will not have congregational singing or choir singing or, or anthems. However, if we can record those, they will be edited into the worship service and will be part of the worship service that we post on our church website. Another question that's been asked is, will people be turned away because we have reached our capacity? And the answer to that is yes. Our capacity right now that we have agreed with this district superintendent and that we ourselves agree to is 65. Now if 64 people come and then there's a couple, I certainly think that we can get by with 66. But otherwise, we will have to politely ask those who have come beyond 65 um, to please come back next Sunday or um, to, place those in the, to place them in the nursery where they'll have a clear audio and they can hear the service live. Um, some people have asked about parking. Uh, we will be able to park cars side by side. And we'll just ask that if somebody is pulling up at the same time, that you would simply just wait until the other person gets out and then um, give them time before you exit your vehicle. And to please put on your mask as you come into the church from the parking lot. Um, some people have asked, you know, are you, are you taking reservations for worship? And I wouldn't use the word reservations, and we're really not taking reservations. However, if you want to let me know that you are attending, please just give me a call on my cell or leave a message on the church office as well, and I'll add your name to the list. So far, about 12 people have called to say that they want to attend on the 23rd. There have been at least that number and a few more who have said that they will not be attending at this time. And so it's helpful for us to know what your personal decision is, if you'd like to share that with us. 
Also, just another question that came up is what will, what will the specific janitor schedule be? When will they clean? They will maintain their regular cleaning schedule, which is Saturday evening and Sunday evening. And so there's no change in that. There's no additional charge to the church for extra cleanings. And they have COVID-19 approved cleanings supplies that they will use each week. So I hope that some of these um, questions might be things that you're thinking about. I hope that the answers are helpful to you. Um, uh, we know that at this time we're going to have a significant number of people who choose to remain at home and we understand that and we fully support people's uh, personal decision to do so. Um, once again, if you want to let me know that you're attending on the 23rd, give me a call and let me know and then we look forward to seeing you on the 23rd. Thank you very much and God bless you.